Hello and welcome to a qu little quick tip tutorial on a neat little feature that I myself have just discovered here in Photoshop CS5. Now we want to open up a picture but instead of going up to file and open we want to open up a picture using the mini bridge. If you don't have the mini bridge you go up to window, extensions and there it is right there. And now you just open a find whatever picture you want on your computer right click the picture and go down to open in camera raw and this will bring up a whole new dialog box very similar to to Adobe Lightroom so that's very clever if you don't have Lightroom you can do some of the things in here okay there are a whole bunch of different things in here we can play around with but let's stick to this first one what's that called basic yes I'm gonna show you this is gonna be sort of a Dave Hill look uh, probably even better than the tutorial I have on the Dave Hill effect. This is probably a better way to do it, better result, and much faster. But, you be the judge. Recovery, let's boost that up to 100. Same with fill light, and same with clarity down here. <coughs> now, this one called blacks, you want to mess around with that one. And the same with the contrast, you probably want to up that a little bit. Uh, vibrance and saturation probably want to take those down a little bit and let's just see the preview this is before this is after <coughs> before and after so that's really really neat and I'm just showing you this very very quickly so let's just say that that's it so we say open image and it will open it up back in Photoshop. Let's collab this panel right here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Play around with it of course a lot more, but a neat little trick that I like is to duplicate this layer, Control J, and add some, uh, oh filter, sorry, add some Gaussian blur around 10%. Click OK and set the blend mode to lighten. And then just turn down the opacity a little bit. Yes, about 70. I really like that look. It kind of gives it kind of a flowy, I don't know, feel to it. But add a layer mask and then choose your brush. <laughs> I'm going to take one of these and foreground color set to black. And you can just zoom in. And then all these parts that you don't want to be blurred, like the eyes, you just paint away with the black. so forth. Yeah, you get the idea. But that was just because I liked that blend mode a lot. But play around with it and that's it for me. And I hope that you uh, will enjoy this feature as much as I do. And I will see you soon.